in this tutorial, you'll be able to learn what are the statuses, what kind of statuses, what it means, and what you can actually do about it. Right? So uh, move back over here. Okay. So in cases where let's say you have received orders from the customers, right? And those orders will come into these tabs over here, right? So as you can see over here, you can see a red color 10. This means that you have 10 orders that you have, haven't actually managed. Okay? So once you enter this page over here, you can actually find a paid orders. Okay, uh, and there's actually two status over here. The first one is payment status. And the second one is fulfillment status, right? So basically, normally, in under payment status, when the customers actually place an order and they have already complete the you know pay you know paying to you, you will see orders like paid status is paid and the fulfillment status is unfulfilled, right? So what you can actually do about it is, uh, of course, once you click on it, once you fulfill your items, your customers will actually, uh, this status will actually mark as fulfilled, right? So another uh, part of this status is that you can actually refund your customers, right? So how you can actually do that is to, once you click on refund over here, okay, you will have to state the reason, right? So for example, spoil products, image goods. And once you click on the refund order, your customers will actually receive a notification that you're actually going to refund to your customers, right? So under this refund over here, settings over here, is that after you set up, after you actually send this notification to your customers, you still have to go back to your, uh, if you're actually using a payment gateway, you still have to go to your payment gateway and manually refund the amount back to your customers, right? So this is still not, uh, integrated, still not automated, right? So if you're not using any uh, payment gateway, you still have to go back to your own company bank account and fund back the amount that you owe to your customers. Okay. So these are only for your own record as well as the notification to your customers. Okay. So uh, other than you know this refund as well as restock over here, you can also sometimes you also see cancel orders okay so right here cancel orders how these orders will actually be cancelled is whereby your customers actually haven't paid up to a certain time of period right so for example if your customers haven't paid um, up to 30 days this order will actually automatically mark as cancel orders and those uh, products those products that are in the orders will actually be stuck back back to your inventory Right, so you can see the fulfillment status is actually restocked and the payment status is actually unpaid. Right, so basically, this that is what all these statuses means and actually how you can, what you can actually do about it. Right, so uh, that's it for this topic over here.